parents believe their daughters, rather than their sons, should go to university. Yes, that is true. Now, a recent survey found that nearly 67% uh, of parents felt it was important for their daughter to go to university. Only 62% felt the same about their sons, which I think is fascinating. More on that in a moment. Thanks for that, Kirsty. So, uh, why are boys bottom of the class at school? A new report uh, blames the scrapping of O-levels for creating an education gender gap that seen girls excel academically while, while boys fall by the wayside. Uh, the fairer sex are not only doing better than boys at GCSE level, but beyond, outnumbering and now outperforming lads at university too. The study claims GCSEs, with their emphasis on coursework and continuous assessment, favour girls. Is that, though, the, the only reason? I mean, after all, girls started overtaking boys academically a couple of years before GCSEs were actually introduced. Some educational experts believe schools are too feminised nowadays. That method, 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 methodical working and attentiveness have been encouraged at the expense of competition and leadership, the things boys respond best to. And only last week, researchers found that lads who played sport uh, more, were more likely to do well in exams than lads that don't. And yet there's been this drive to end competitive sport in schools to protect kids from feeling uh. like failures. Mind you, I did feel like a failure coming last every year in sports day, I have to say. Uh. <laughs> Look at you now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter, twisted, ranting, <laughs> railing. Uh, others claim a lack of male teachers at primary level in particular has a damaging effect on boys' education. Maybe it's not so much about how schools are failing boys, but how society as a whole has rallied behind girls in recent years. In days past, let's be honest here, all you had to do was find a bloke, get married and breed. Now you can go to university, get plastered, have loads of sexual partners, a career, and still breed. They even let you vote. No wonder the country is in such a mess, I say. <laughs> Seriously, maybe these opportunities are what's spurring female pupils on. Girls are more likely to get on with it, even when study becomes tedious and their male, counterpart, male counterparts opt out. And in fact, we had an email uh, from a GCSE pupil called Fiona Collins yesterday. Thank you for it, uh, Fiona. And that seems to back this up, because she told us her female friends are far more likely to stay in and revise than the boys she knew. I, I mean, there's so many questions here. I mean, boys are lagging behind in class. White working class boys being the biggest losers of all. Um, well, you have a lad. Well, how old is your? A boy's 12. 12? Yeah. What's your take <laughs> on, on boys in school at the moment? Um, well, the thing is, my son goes, uh, you know, I pay for my son's education. Yeah. And um, having gone through the ordinary system myself, um, I have to say that I don't believe in private education for myself morally, but. It's your child, and you will do anything to... You think the state system is failing boys? Definitely. And, you know, before it was black boys, and I used to say, yeah, it's yeah. not... And I, and I even said to my partner, you know, it's not just about the black boys, because they are failing them, but the white working-class mm. boys as well. Because... And I think the, the whole key is the working class. And if you um, are in a certain class, and if they say it's a class of society, it's, that's nonsense, mm. um, you're not, the, the expectation on you... Is, is, is not as high. My son goes to a school where they, the expectation is very high. Sometimes I'm, I'm a little frightened myself. <laughs> but because it's so high uh, and the other boys around him want to meet that expectation, he also wants to meet that expectation. So, it, in essence, we're talking about competition there. Yeah. there, there, there there's there, a drive. Yeah, there is a drive. And yeah. also, you know, he's, he's, he has parents that want him to strive to be the best that he can be. And, you know, you have to be careful with competition. I always say to him, it's not about what the person next to you is doing. It's about, the, are you doing better today than you were yesterday? You have to understand that concept and that the drive must come Very from within. Wise. But um, I, I think that there is not enough um, expected. Do you, of, do, you, of, do, you think that, do you think there's anything that sort of GCSEs favour girls? The, 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 the actual idea that coursework and that kind of attention to detail. I remember the girls always used to unline everything in mm -hmm. multicoloured inks and yeah. were really into their sort of presentation, which mm -hmm. I guess... Well, I have a nephew part. as well, and, he, and obviously he's a boy. And, and, I mean, attention to detail, you couldn't get better than this right. child. So I don't think that it's just about attention to detail. And I don't think that... Um, that it's the exam that's failing them. There's obviously something happening in the in the classroom. Mm. That very um, interesting you said about the boys sort of spurring each other on mm. at that level of competition. I, I can remember that at school. Yeah. Um, Sean, do you, I mean well, it, it's I a big big subject really? Too. Yeah, because my daughter's 13, mm. so and we've gone for a state uh, school in a nice area mm. um, because that's what I had, and I didn't want 
to put her in a private school because I didn't want her to have higher but expectations. But if, if you lived in a terrible area with bad schools, you might have reconsidered. You're, yeah, definitely. It's, it's very interesting because her expectations aren't high at all. And I think if she was in a private school, she would would work harder because she'd have to to keep up with her peers yeah. um, but it's it's agony with a teenager anyway at trying to make them concentrate and trying to make them be responsible for their own work I mean it's this is this is a really hard period but I, I do have friends with boys who have who are just not as socially uh, developed yet yeah. they just why, are why, not why, just because they're boys and boys mature slower or yeah, because um, they're not boys... getting the support from either home or school no i think that uh, i think there is a problem that there's not enough discipline and male models in schools right. and definitely secondary schools mm -hmm. um and i and i think it is to do with them maturing later yeah. um, but, but if there was discipline and in schools then everyone would do better it's pathetic how easy it is to be at school these days mm, but i'm always surprised because in my day, if, if a teacher said something bad about you, my parents would, back in the day, probably tan my hide, of course, which doesn't happen <laughs> yeah. very often these days, but there was a consequence yeah. for having a teacher criticise you. Today, yeah. all we hear about is if a teacher criticises the parents go up and take it off against the teacher. And there's, so the parents are backing the kids yeah. against the teachers. Which yeah. is... I think you have to know your child as well. Yeah. I mean, if, if a teacher comes to you and says something about your child and it bears no relation to the child that you know, you might question it. Yeah. And, and, and it's also the way they come to you, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you feel that they are speaking in the best interest of your child, you will take it on board, yeah. but it's not all the time okay. that a teacher okay. comes okay. to a parent like that. No, and in a, sta a state school, they don't have time to speak to you. They don't, you know, it's well, extraordinary. I mean, that's that, that, uh, yet another point to, yeah, to throw in the mix, David. I mean. Uh... Well, I mean, I think there's something going on. I, I agree with both of them. I think there are fundamental differences in the way that boys and girls mature, and boys do mature much later. And I think um, also in terms of what boys are good at, boys are much more. There's a hugely stereotypical. But boys are very good at practical tasks and assimilation of information and so on. Um, girls are, are particularly good at um, structured work, coursework, and so on. So I do think the exam system favours girls. I think also I'm really not into mixed sexed. Uh, classes because actually boys are rubbish. Boys are obsessed with the other sex and they spend their entire time flirting, <laughs> not doing any work. Um, yeah. and, but I went to a Catholic boys school, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> but I'm trying, I'm trying to paint a picture, which is that um, I, I, it, you know, boys, boys often will perform badly to impress girls because yeah. they're lads. Yeah. Um, whereas if you're in a single sex class, you don't do that because there's no one to impress. Yeah. So, and I think boys also respond incredibly well to discipline. Um, girls tend to, you have to discipline girls slightly differently, I think. And the competitive sport is vital. Boys are a bag of hormones. They need to run these hormones and girls down. girls are not. <laughs> um, girls are too, but in a slightly different way. And, um, boy, and I think girls are more mature in the way that they can handle complex emotions. But boys... why are we relying on girls' maturity? Then why are we not saying that we should then, you know, bring boys up to speed? We... You know, should we not look at their maturity le levels? Yes. Not just say it's just but, hormones. No, but I think that the, the difference is that a boys mature much later so that girls are maturing faster and have... Can I just, can I just ask, just to, to go right back to the beginning of yeah. the show and that story about uh, the report that suggests that, that for some, woodwork, metalwork and stuff like that... Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, we, would, do you think that would be a useful thing to get boys engaged? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Because it's practical. Yeah. And I love doing things like woodwork and metalwork because I could see the point of it. I did not understand the point of some of the other subjects I did. Yeah. OK. OK. And it would be a trade. OK, okay. A trade. okay well, there's that, that, that benefit as well. I just wanted to say, actually, rather than thinking about it as a career thing, just as something to do, do. Yeah. that might That's be more... I think as well, as, yeah. as a, as yeah. a, not as an alternative, but so let's, as a well So boys need a good thrashing. They need to run around at sports day, yeah, and they, they need to do they woodwork need, and metalwork. They need work. discipline. They need to want something else as well. There are not really any academic role models. Everyone, if you I ask anyone the what they want to be, they want to be in um, Britain's Brother. Got Talent, they want to be in Big Brother, yeah. they want Big to be what? a footballer. Exactly. Um, uh, let's, well, forgive me, Cunning, uh, let, let, we've heard a lot from them. Let's turn it over to you. Why are boys uh, doing so badly at school? Let's see what we've got to say. Hopefully we'll hear from some teachers and some...